Hey everybody, Brian from Innisfil Creek Honey. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, try to explain to you how to put together one of these nifty little uh, Wellington County nuke boxes. Uh, they're great little boxes. Uh, if you've gone online and tried to see the instructions that they provide, they're a little bit confusing. Um, and it took us a little while to, to uh, refine how to put these together. And after you've put a few thousand of these together, you find it quite easy, okay? It uh, comes in two components, you have a lid, and you have the box itself. Um, to assemble the lid, first off, if you can't figure out how to assemble this lid, I would rethink your life choices and maybe decide not to be a beekeeper. Uh, so we're not even gonna go over this. Um, that's the lid. Um, if you can put a banker's box together, you can put a lid together. Now, the nuke box here, you're gonna need a, a few tools. Um, we'll need an X-Acto knife. We'll need a piece of window screen, a high temperature uh, glue gun, and this is not a regular craft glue gun, this is a high temperature one. They make two different versions. Um, and then we'll need some good tape. The tape I like to use is uh, tuck tape. I uh, use it for everything, it's fantastic for the use of the, uh, the, the nuke box. So this is the flattened out Wellington County nuke box. And the way we do it is we Put it, to get, put it like this with these pieces pointing up and towards you on the table. When you look to your left, there is the word no stamped into here facing me. So that's what I want on my left hand side is I want to see that no facing me with the tabs down here. Now the next thing you want to do is pre-fold everything. You want to get this folded so that all of the... Uh, the joints are all cracked and that it's easy to assemble. Then you will get your X-Acto knife and on left and right, there are these screen windows in here that are already pre-scored, but you need to get your X-Acto knife and slightly cut those through them so that the flaps flap outwards like that. Then you will grab your screening Put your screening over top of that hole, then get your high temperature heat gun, and you're gonna push the, wa the hot glue through the screen as you pull the hot glue gun along. Uh, and what this does is it creates the, uh, the glue right through the screen and onto the plastic of the nuke box. Um, and we've done that on this side here, so when you pull that flap back, now that screen is adhered to the nuke box, so we can open and close the uh, flaps and ventilate the nuke box. The next thing we wanna do is the bottom uh, frame holders. Um, these are quite a neat uh, 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 function, and they fold up, and these flaps fold up like that, and then you push down. So if you see this, that's what you want them to look like. You get a piece of tuck tape and you tape those little two little flaps down like that. Now it holds that like that. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Oops. Like this. And grab another piece of tape to hold those flaps down like that. So now that's the bottom flaps. Then they fold up, you fold in, you fold down like that. Then you hold these sides, fold them in, and fold it together. Like that. So inside, it looks like that. Then you fold these flaps over, and they lock in these little slots that are in here. So now if you look inside, at the very bottom, you have these little uh, frame guides at the bottom that hold your frames from banging together left or right and help them so they don't drop down. You have the ledges created by this double fold here um, that hold the frame um, lips um, up in there and then front and back you have flip up lids that cover 
the screening. So um, when you have it open, um, they can ventilate with the lid on. The next thing you want to do is tape all the joints. Um, they do fit together quite well, but the bees will get out of these little cracks in there. So we like to get the tuck tape and seal up all of those cracks so that when you uh, try to transport your bees, uh, the bees are not flapping around in your car or when you're trying to ship them with, you, uh, with uh, Canada Post, the bees uh, cannot escape inside the Canada Post warehouse. Um, so we throw tape over every crack and seam on it. Um, and that is the box. The lid now sits on top of the box like this. And when you look at that word no on the side here, it now says on. Because on the outside, on the inside it said no, on the outside it says on. This is where the front entrance is. So when we get our bees in there, we want them to get out of the box. We simply cut the scored lines there. We cut those lines with our X-Acto knife. And we have the front door. When we want to transport our nuke somewhere, we can tape that front door shut, then lift these flaps up. They fit underneath the lid. Now we have the front door taped shut and we have screening, so we have ventilation front and back. Okay? So that's the Wellington County Nuke Box. I hope that helped you out a little bit. Again, Brian from Innisfil Creek Honey. Um, if you ever need anything, let us know. Have a great day.